Right, I've got two Anytone 878s in front of me on my brake, and I'm gonna do some interesting range testing. Now, bear in mind, I'm in the car, so GPS figures will be incorrect. They're both on the same frequency. They're both in digital mode, both on color code one, slot one. So they're both the same, but they've got different ID numbers because I've got two DMR IDs. And what I'm trying to demonstrate is how you can, you can see how far someone else is away, that you, you know, that you're out walking with or search and rescue. So they're both the same and the GPS is enabled and active on both of them. That's the first thing. So. This is the radio doing the looking, the one on the right. So if I go to list AA, that's me on the left. That's the radio on the left. So if I choose that, view the contact, then options, I can do a call alert. I can ring, make the other radio ring. So I've done that. It's not, there's no sound because I've turned the volume down, but you get the gist, it's, it's working. I can measure the distance between me and the other radio. It's replying with the GPS information. It's sent. So it's come up with the answer 29 meters. We know that's wrong because I'm in the car but it works. By the way, we're not using any hotspot, we're just two radios not connected to anything, just in simplex mode. I can request the GPS info in the form of a text message. In a few minutes, a text message comes through and you can read the data. Next one is last one is check radio. Let's check if Chris's radio is switched on. And it normally is. That was so quick I missed it. Target radio answered. Yeah, well you might think that. It says that all the time. Let's turn this one off because we're nearly finished. And we'll do this once more. So it never comes back. It never says other radio answered. And you can do this simplex here. You know, so search and rescue, that would be very handy know how far you know if you're out searching with other people looking for a missing child or something and someone's radio that the batteries have gone you can check where the other person's radio is switched on I mean how cool is that so check fail eventually it comes back failed so you know you've got to do this test these tests you know if you've got you've got these interesting radios have a go at doing some of these tests. They're pretty cool. And, um, you know, learn more about the radios. So you can do this in simplex mode, as shown. You can do this on a hotspot or a repeater, but, you know, not sure if repeater keepers want you doing this, but you can do it and it's fun. So experiment, 73, 20 UKH.